If you're anything like me and you like to be environmentally friendly with your cleaning products, don't like to have nasty chemicals around your home, but still like your cleaning to be really effective, then this is the video for you. I went ahead and made my own cleaning products using baking soda or bicarb of soda. I made a couple of different mixes of products and I tested them in different areas around my house. I got some really surprising results in the process. Now most people already know that baking soda is really good at cleaning and deodorizing. However, what what I'm about to show you chemically changes baking soda into washing soda, turbocharging its cleaning power. Now baking soda has a pH of about 8.5. Washing soda on the other hand has a pH of 11.5, meaning it's 100,000 times stronger than baking soda when we use it for cleaning. Now I own a cleaning product distribution business in Ireland and some of the products you can see on the shelf here in my shop actually contain sodium carbonate. These are high end, high grade, high potency cleaning products designed for carpet and upholstery cleaning and they have washing soda in them as a key ingredient. It's really, really good at cleaning. Because we can buy baking soda in bulk, it's also insanely cheap to make. So how do we turn baking soda into washing soda? I only found out a couple of weeks ago just how easy this stuff is to make. To make your own sodium carbonate at home, you basically need an oven and some baking soda. Preheat your oven to 210 degrees Celsius or 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour some baking soda into an oven proof dish. And I'm simply gonna pop it into my oven for 30 minutes. About 40 minutes later and we have washing soda. And now I'm going to start experimenting with it. So I'm about to put a tablespoon of washing soda onto my glass ceramic hob, which has cost me the sum total of about three cent. But what else can we use our washing soda for now that we've made it? Well, it's really good at removing burnt on residues in pots and pans. It can help unblock your sink and also keep your sinks clean and fresh. It's an excellent degreaser in both household laundry and in carpets and upholstery, but it's also really good at breaking down the grease in pots and pans and in cookware. So we can steep our pots and pans, our hood extractors, and even our oven grills without actually having to do any scrubbing. It is a brilliant additive to our laundry where it'll help to remove spots and stains, but it also softens hard water, meaning that it will make your laundry detergent go further, saving you money because you don't need to use as much. You can even use this stuff to clean out your washing machine. It really is a totally universal product. So far, I've made a heavy duty degreaser to clean my kitchen down with it. I've made a bathroom mixture and I've cleaned my bath, shower, toilet, sink and floor. I've made a spot and stain remover to clean my carpet and upholstery with it and obviously you can see how effective it is at cleaning my hob here. In fact this stuff is so good at cleaning I'm after getting rid of nearly every single under the sink cleaning product I possess. I've made and experimented with a few different cleaning mixes for different applications and they've all worked exceptionally well. I've even turbocharged the mix with my own secret ingredients which are still eco-friendly and environmentally sound and super super cheap. Over the coming months I'm going to be putting all of these videos into the playlist on the screen appearing now. Subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when I post a new video and as always if you have any questions, shout down below.